in this video we'll try to understand how to draw cam profile in case of roller holder now the problem statement is given over here we have to design a cam for operating the exhaust wall of an oil engine which is required to give uniform velocity during opening and closing of the wall outstroke corresponds to 120 degree of cam rotation the wall must remain in fully open condition position for next 30 degree of cam rotation return stroke corresponds to 60 degree of cam rotation the lift or stroke of the cam is 30 mm and the minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm. The follower is provided with a roller of radius 10 mm and its line of stroke passes through the axis of the cam. So it is very very important example. Now out stroke is 120 degree with uniform velocity. Then return stroke is 60 degree. It is also with uniform velocity. In between there is a dwell period of 30 degree. Lift of the follower is 30 mm or 3 cm. Minimum radius of the cam is 50 mm or 5 cm. Roller radius is 10 mm. So prime circle radius is minimum radius of the cam plus roller radius that is 50 plus 10 that is 60 cm, 60 mm or 6 cm. Now the important part is that of the scale. So the scale that we have chosen over here is on x axis we are having 1 cm is equal to 20 degree of the cam rotation. Whereas on Y axis, we are having 1 cm is equal to 10 mm of the lift of the follower or stroke of the follower. So as you can see, we are having out stroke of 120 degree. So 120 divided by 20. So we are going to draw it by 6 cm on our displacement diagram. Out stroke dwell is of 30 degree. So 30 divided by 20, that is 1.5 cm. Return stroke is of 60 degree. So 60 degree divided by 20, that is 3 cm. So total will be 6 plus 1.5 plus 3 that is 10.5 cm for outstroke, outstroke dwell and return stroke. So first we'll draw 10.5 cm length then it will be divided into 6 cm then 1.5 cm and 3 cm as we have indicated over here. Then we'll draw the stroke of the follower. The scale on the y axis is 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. So 30 divided by 10, so that is 3 cm. And then we'll complete this particular part. Now we'll divide this into 6 equal part. So as you can see, 6 cm is divided, out stroke is divided into 6 equal part. Then there is a dwell, and then return stroke is of 3 cm. That also we have converted into 6 equal part of 0.5 cm each. So we can say that this is the out stroke, then this is out stroke 12 and there is a return stroke. Now as the motion is of uniform velocity, we'll join this diagonal so that we'll get the out stroke. Then there is a 12 for 30 degree and then there is a return stroke again using the uniform velocity. Now for us, now for us, these distances 1a, 2b, 3c, 4d, 5e, then 6f, these distances are important. Similarly over here 7g, 8h, 9i, 10j and 11k, these distances they are important for us while drawing the CAN profile. So now we are having the minimum radius of the CAN of 5 cm so that we have drawn then prime circle radius of 6 cm that also we have drawn over here. Now we have to divide the given particular outstroke into 6 equal parts. So 120 divided by 6. So it will be of 20 degree each. So as you can see, we are dividing that into 6 equal part. So these are the 6 equal part. Then there is a dwell of 30 degree. So that is also drawn over here. And then again, there is a return stroke of 60 degree that also we will divide into 10 equal parts. So we are taking 10 degree over here. So you can see. So as you can see over here, the outstroke is of 120 degree. This outstroke is of 120 degree that we have divided into six equal parts. So 120 divided by six, that is 20 degree. So each of this particular angle is of 20 degree. Then there is a dwell of 30 degree. So that we have shown over here. Then return stroke is of 60 degree. So that also we have divided into six equal parts. So 60 divided by six, that is 10 degree. So this will be 10 degree lines. So in this way, we have divided these particular anchors. 
Now we have to transfer these distances that is 1a, 2b, 3c on these parts. So suppose we are having the we have to measure the distance 1a. So this red line and this line is the distance. Now that will transfer over here. So this 1a distance is transferred over here as a 1a. So you can see the circle we have drawn. Then the 2b distance. So you can see this is the 2b distance will be transferred over here on the second line. This is the 2b distance that we have transferred. Then we have to take into consideration the distance 3c. So that also we are drawing over here. That is 3c distance. Then the next one is of 4d. So this 4 and this d. So this red line and this zero line we have to match. So that also we are drawing over here as 4d. Then 5e, okay, that distance we are drawing on the line 5e. So a, b, c, d, that particular, those particular names will give it afterwards. Then 6f distance. So this is the 6f distance. So that we are drawing over here. So you can see this red line and this zero line. So it is 6f distance. Same distance will be there after it will also. So this is the 6f distance for the return stroke. Then 7g distance we have to transfer. So this total distance from this red line up to 0 is 7g distance that we are transferring over here. Then we are having this h8 or 8h distance that we are transferring over here. Then i9 distance or 9i distance this 9i distance we are transferring that much distance we are transferring over here then we are having this 10j distance so as you can see 10j distance the red line and up to zero line similarly 11k that also we are transferring over here and finally the 12th part which will be coinciding over here now taking this as the center, we have to draw the roller of 10 mm radius or 1 cm radius. So these are nothing but A, 1A distance, 2B distance, 3C distance, 4D distance and 5E, 6F and so on. So we can draw the circle using those values as the center. So as you can see, taking this as a center, we can draw the circles over here and now we have to draw a smooth cam profile passing through this so these are the distances so this is 1a 2b which we have transferred from the displacement diagram over here now draw the smooth curve passing through this like this so this is our cam profile so as you can see this red line indicates that it is our cam profile to give the wall the actual motion then pitch curve is the curve which is passing through the center of this a b c d e so which is similar to this particular cam profile then this circle of 5 centimeter radius is of this base circle which is of 5 centimeter radius radius and this prime circle is of 6 centimeter radius and this is the roller follower which will make upright motion to operate the wall so in this way we can draw the cam profile in case of roller follower Thank you very much for watching.